I've been given some uh, Banggood boring bars and uh, inserts that I will be uh, testing out in this video. But before I can start using them, I'm going to make a uh, holder. Because uh, so far, the only thing I can tell you is that they uh, look really nice. There really isn't anything to complain about. And that's too bad, uh, because uh, I'm Dutch and we excel at complaining, especially about uh, the weather. Uh, these uh, plastic bags, by the way, smell like uh, an over-perfumed madame. It's uh, terrible. I would prefer the awful uh, plastic smell that uh, they are trying to hide. The inserts that came with the uh, boring bars are uh, Mitsubishi. Made in uh, Japan, according to the uh, label over here. I find this a bit odd because Banggood normally only deals in uh, Chinese products. I got uh, two theories about this. Either they are uh, knockoffs or they uh, were made uh, for Mitsubishi by a uh, Chinese company. Mitsubishi probably supplied the labels and that's why they uh, say made in Japan. I actually uh, emailed uh, Mitsubishi um, hoping that they could uh, shed some light on this but uh, they didn't uh, reply probably because they don't want you to know that they are uh, selling uh, cheaply made Chinese inserts with uh, huge profit margins anyway I don't uh, I don't care as long as they uh, work So that's a 7, a 10 and a 12. And that's millimeters. Okay, let's start making a boring bar holder. And for this job Banggood was kind enough to supply me with uh, some other tool bits to try out. I got a cassette full of uh, drill bits. Some reamers. A small box with uh, some tabs and even some stainless uh, steel set screws more about these later but if you are interested there are links for these products in the description box below the video behold my uh, first AutoCAD drawing ever well uh, actually it isn't AutoCAD it's uh, uh, a program called LibreCAD you can uh, freely download it since it uh, is open source this beautiful drawing here represents the front face of this uh, block of steel and it shows the uh, four uh, boring bars that uh, will fit into this block and the uh, set screws my measurements are based on uh, leaving uh, three millimeters uh, on every side here um, then the only problem area is around here but I can solve that by using uh, M5 set screws instead of M6 this is by the way uh, 40 by 40 um, this here is 7 millimeter this is 12 millimeter uh, this is 8 and this is 16 I don't have a 16 but uh, I uh, intend on buying one from all the uh, commission I'm uh, about to earn from all the stuff you guys will be buying from Banggood after this video. And if this uh, all works out and uh, there aren't any showstoppers, every side of the uh, uh, block of steel will have another uh, boring bar at center height. So if this is the bottom, uh, the 60 millimeter should be at center height and that is about 90 millimeter high and then when you turn it this way um, the 7 millimeter will be at center height anyway it's all pretty simple no need for uh, 
more explanation, I think. Let's uh, start drilling. I haven't really started and uh, I'm already running into a problem. I'm going to use this 4mm drill for my pilot hole, but it's not long enough to get all the way through the block of steel. The thread on the uh, tool post uh, bolt here is barely long enough. I've actually used this material before to make my own uh, boring bar. See? Now it's important that the uh, face of the uh, block of steel is parallel with the uh, uh, face of the uh, collet shock. I like using a bit of WD-40 to make sure the uh, colored uh, slides uh, nicely into the table. Now this isn't the uh, best colored set. I think I paid 15 or 20 euro for it on the flea market. It was new. But uh, for my tolerances, it uh, it should be good enough. Now for this plan to work, it is really important that I keep the uh, correct distance between the center drill and the uh, side of the block, which for the uh, seven millimeter boring bar should be uh, three millimeter plus three and a half is six and a half uh, millimeter. I would have preferred uh, to use a smaller uh, center drill, but this is the uh, smallest that uh, fits my collet set. The sizes of uh, center drills are uh, a bit strange, probably imperial. So to compensate, uh, I will only drill with the uh, tip of the center drill before I uh, move on to the uh, pilot drill. I saw the block of steel moving. Well, I will have to redo my setup. I uh, wasn't expecting that to happen, but uh, I'm glad I saw it. Maybe that center drill is uh, a bit dull. I'll try again with a new center drill. The problem I'm having is that uh, if I tighten down this clamp too much, it will bend the top slide slightly, and that will uh, tighten up the feeways, making it hard to move. Anyway, I'm ready with my uh, setup. Yeah, there should be room enough. Let's try it again. I can actually feel a bit of vibration in the, on the ball handle. There must be some run out in the in that center drill. I have no other explanation for that uh, vibration. Anyway, that should do it. And now I will switch to the 4mm pilot drill. This here is the set of drill bits I got from Banggood. And I wish I could recommend them and make a 
killing and uh, commission, but uh, unfortunately I can't. It might be a warranty case, but my set is uh, pretty poor. Quite a few uh, tips have uh, burrs on them. Some of them have uh, uh, damaged flutes. And uh, a lot of these big ones are stuck in the cassette. And on top of that I find these uh, rather pricey. I think they were like 27 uh, euros. And uh, I bought a similar set a few years ago and I believe I paid 15 euros. Although that set was also shit. But I'm uh, confident that I uh, should be able to uh, finish this uh, project with uh, these drills. Um, let's continue. And we need the uh, 4 millimeter pilot drill. Uh, don't get me wrong, not all of those drills are bad. It's the big ones that have most of the problems. This uh, 4 millimeter drill uh, looks okay. But can it cut steel? We are about to find out. It's already getting a lot harder. get any deeper I'm going to move the uh, drill bit a bit forward hopefully it won't slip and this will be enough to get through the uh, block of steel. None of the chips can get out because I've really run out of fluid. It's through. Well that's one pilot hole finished. And it took only 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes. And I gotta do four of these. So next up is a uh, 6.5 millimeter drill. Uh, but I just realized that I don't have a uh, 7 millimeter uh, collet. I only have 6 and 8. I made an arbor for this uh, room chuck that came from the local flea market and it is uh, running almost through only three hundredths of a millimeter run out which is pretty good I think so now I'm able to continue this project I'm ready to drill through this block of steel with this uh, 6.5 uh, millimeter drill the drill itself looks uh, pretty good and it seems to be running pretty straight um, so a uh, 6.5 millimeter drill bit leaves uh, 0.5 millimeter to ream and that is a bit much but I found this document on the uh, Sandvik website general hints on uh, 
reaming and it says to obtain the best result when using reamers it is essential to make them work it is a common fault to prepare holes for reaming with too little stock left well uh, I stopped reading there and uh, I shall make those uh, Banggood reamers work for their money well I got them for free but still let's drill this hole battery empty light is flashing so now I'm going to prepare this block of steel This uh, should have been cleaned out months ago. Now it's all pretty much rusted stuck. <laughs> Iron ore. Well. I better get this cleaned up. It's better than doing the dishes.